What's going on everybody? My name is Michael. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about one of my new favorite BFS baits. I'm talking about the 2.3 inch sleigh bait from Epic Bait Molds. Check this out. Right now, at the time of filming this video, it is the dog days of summer. It's the middle of August. It is hot. These fish are tired. And at this point in the season, they have seen every bait imaginable thrown at them. We recently just had a shad spawn here on the Delta. And right now, well, they are feeding on itsy bitsy little shad. Look at those tasty little morsels right there. 2.3 inches, nice subtle kick just like a baby shad would have. And there's even an eye socket in there to drop some baby eyes in. So what we're gonna do, we are gonna take the leftover original motor oil from last week. We still got that one cup left. We're gonna use that as our back. We're gonna enhance it with some pixie dust. We're gonna whip up a nice clear flashy belly color. We are gonna pour some shads and then we are gonna head out on the water and see if we can't put this little bait to work. We got two awesome ways to rig it up. I can't wait to show you. So uh, what are we waiting for? Let's get, oh, oh, whoa, hold a second. I almost, I almost forgot. Check out what came in the mail today. Okay, check this out. We got a package in from Shank Bait Company. Yep, our friends over there at Shank Bait Company. What we've done is we've actually reached out to several bait makers and asked them to commission a few baits. And these are all painted up using the 8-Bit Baits Hollow Shift Powder. You can see some of that awesome holographic shift there. Look at this one especially, the Shad. I believe this is using the, uh, the Ghost Trout. Look at that, you got pink right there. And then we bring it up, nope, it's green. We got some green and pink going on there. Absolutely awesome. So we got some really cool baits here from Shank Bait Company. Can't wait to put these to the test. There's a crawler, there's some divers, a wake bait, another shallow diver it looks like. Really excited to fish these. Lots of baits to end up making official. But really the whole purpose of this, the reason why we've commissioned Shank Bait and others is we are gonna be putting a full gallery on the 8-Bit Baits website to show everybody how you can use these powders, not just in soft plastic baits, but for airbrushing and all different sorts of things so really really cool shout outs to shank bait company thank you so much for the package really appreciate it but right now we got to get this mold on the hot plate yep that's right we got our hot plate on and warming up at 52 degrees celsius this is typically where we warm up our mold we're also warming up our injection block here because we want to make sure that the blending block is warm so that way it doesn't lock up on us when we go to do our first injection. So warm mold, warm blending block, that is the ticket, I'm telling you. You can see we have our original motor oil all chopped up there, ready to go. We're gonna heat that up in the microwave, spruce it up with a little bit something special. We'll bust out some of the pixie dust, and then uh, I think we might bust out some of the thread fin for the belly color, not sure. Let's dive into it. Okay, here we go. Nice and hot cup of Plastisol. All right, we got that motor oil that's left over from last week, the original motor oil. Now we're in complete experimentation mode here, folks. Okay, we don't really know what it is we're doing. So we're gonna play around. I want to drop in some Skeletor. I really think that that'll do wonders. It is a purple to blue pixie dust color shift. You can see that purple to blue. So we'll see what that does inside of the motor oil. I'm very curious to see. I think that blue will probably turn green. We'll see. If it stays blue and purple, that would be sweet. Never really mixed a uh, blue and purple shift into uh, motor oil before, so let's see how this goes. All right, well that is very cool. We kind of have a blue and purple effect still showing through on top of the darkness of the motor oil. I think that's pretty awesome. Not gonna lie, there's even more of like a oil slick color when you look at it from the side here. Taking a look at it from this angle, can you see that weird like oil slick texture to it? It's kind of got like a rainbow vibe going on in there. That's pretty sweet. You still got the green. 
you still got that brown in there look at that there's the brown awesome awesome stuff I think we had maybe some black flake for texture maybe even a drop of black to darken it up because it is going to be a very thin bait let's let's do that right now okay we have the small black square flake we're just gonna put one spoonful in we're just trying to add texture that is a 16th teaspoon by the way just some speckles in there to, to break it up yeah I like the way that that's looking a lot better on the knife. All right, we are going to go in with one drop of Dead On Plastics Black. Again, we're just using one drop because it is so thick. We're going to be very careful. There we go. That was it. One drop. We just want to darken it up just a little bit. There we go. It is going to be a thinner bait. So we want to make sure that there's plenty of color. This is going to be a back color for the bait. So we want to make sure that it's going to shine through, have a nice solid backing. And that looks to be pretty awesome. All right, I think we're going to leave that right there. Let's get this in the vacuum chamber and then we will start on the belly color. All right. Here we go, fresh cup of Plastisol right out of the microwave. Now the fun is about to begin. So first off, for the belly, I decided we are in fact going to use Threadfin, HS620. This is a hollow shift that doesn't really get a lot of attention, but it has a nice kind of a darker green, like a cyan green to a, a purple right on the edge. You see that there? It kind of matches that motor oil green to purple. So I'm hoping that purplish blue is what's going to blend the belly and the back together. So we're going to do a nice full 16th. We want a good Aurora in here in the belly. That is, again, one thing a lot of people don't know about the hollow shift powders. They are Aurora pearls. So if you run them in just a clear plastisol cup, you're going to get this kind of aurora effect when looked through from the side. You get kind of like a, a prism effect almost. And you see here from the top down, you can see that green. But if I were just to come down here, do you see that aurora effect in there? You got the light changing colors. Look, you see the pinks and the greens and the purples all kind of swirling around in there. Yeah, cool stuff. All right, we are gonna add a little bit of texture. So we'll go like a half of a scoop of a 16th in there. You know, just a little something to uh, to break up the belly. A cute, you know, we'll get a few freckles in there, you know, something to uh, break up the belly. A little something like that. That's looking pretty good. And then we'll do the same. We'll do about a half of a 16th of the silver holographic. I like the way this looks. I really like the sparse holographic flake in the bellies. I think it just gives that nice little bit of pizzazz, if you will. You don't want to go crazy because it can look like a disco ball. And that's not what we want. But we do a little something like that. And you keep it real sparse like. And it turns out real good. I mean, look at that. You see just that. You see that little hint of sparkle here and there throughout the color. It's not overpowering by any means. Just a dash of texture and a dash of sparkle in addition to that Threadfin Hollow Shift Powder. Look at that. That's going to be an awesome complimentary belly, I think, to our motor oil and Skeletor backing. All right, well, let's get this vacuum now and uh, let's get ready to inject. All right, we got that heated up to temperature. Now both sides are hot, mixed up, ready to roll. Can't wait to see what this looks like. Remember, boys and girls, don't forget to glove up. All right, here we go. This mold hardly takes any plastic at all. It doesn't feel like nothing when you're doing the, the dual injector. All right. All right, 
right, and that's what it looks like on the edge of the injectors there. I'm telling you, this motor oil really has like that oil slick look to it. Pretty sweet. We're going to have to remember that color. Motor oil with a little bit of Skeletor in there. And then that thread fin shad on the belly. It's going to be nice. Yeah. There we go. Very cool. Look at that. I think those are going to play nice together. everybody here we go are you ready the 2.3 inch sleigh bait I know I'm excited I mean just taking a look at those sprues Whew. all right let's see let's see if our experimentation turned out good for a nice kind of oil slick shad can we get this to come off on one side yeah <laughs> Oh, look at that. Look at that. Let's get you zoomed in. Huh? Look at that. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. There it is. Look at that with that clear belly. Oh, see, from one angle, it's going to look all green with that thread fin. And then you're going to switch it around. It's going to go translucent. A little purple in the belly pulls it all together. Oh, that's going to look so good. Just like a little baby shad. That's pretty cool. <laughs> look at that. Tasty, tasty little morsel. Oh, yeah, you got that clear belly with the thread fin coming through. That tiny, tiny bit of sparkle. And look at that purple and blue come through on the back with that motor oil as a backing. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, you got that brown on the edges still too. Very, very cool. Look at those little suckers. <laughs> Alright, now take a look at that. With the eyeballs on there. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That's thumbnail right there. Oh my, 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 my. Tasty little morsel. But yeah, there you go. Look at that. Awesome little motor oil shads. A whole family of them. <laughs> A school of shad, if you will. Sweet. All oh, these look so good. Love it. All right, everybody, welcome back aboard the Spring Hawk. Wanted to show you a couple quick ways that I like to rig up the 2.3 inch sleigh bait for some finesse fishing. Now you can throw this on spinning gear, but personally, I like to throw BFS, which is what I'm throwing it on here. First up is the Jaw Dropper by First Gen Fishing. You know I love the First Gen Copperhead, and here's another innovative bait by uh, First Gen Fishing. The Jaw Dropper has a little lip here on the front of it, and so you can fish this a couple ways. You can fish it as a Ned Rig on the bottom, so every time you hop it, that lip is going to cause it to hop to the left, hop to the right, back and forth, kind of zigzagging across the bottom. Or you can pretty much just reel it in and fish it like a jerk bait and just constantly jerk it and it's just gonna dart left and right through the water. So again, that is the, uh, the jaw dropper by First Gen Fishing. Definitely check it out. And again, I will have links to all of the tackle down below in the description. Those are Tackle Warehouse affiliate links. So I appreciate all of you clicking through those links and doing your shopping at Tackle Warehouse. A little bit comes back to help out the channel so we can keep bringing you videos just like this.
Next up is my go-to, the Okashira screw head. I mean, how can I bring up a finesse swim bait and not bring up the Okashira screw head? You, you all know I'm a sucker for this bait, but the Okashira screw head, 1 8 ounce, that blade just spinning like crazy back there, that tight little action from the sleigh bait tail. It's a perfect fit. This little size one hook is perfect for the 2.3 inch sleigh bait, a bait that I highly, highly recommend. You can throw it on again finesse spinning rods, real, real light swim bait rods. I have a BFS rod set up specifically for eighth ounce heads and swim baits, and that's what I throw this bait on here. Awesome little jig head, the Okashira screw head. And again, you can see that's a perfect little pairing with the 2.3 inch slay bait. The last bait that I'll show you here, this is by Dirty Jigs. This is the Tactical Bassin Underspin. The mini underspin, I believe. Again, I'll have it linked down below in the description. But they basically took the Dirty Jigs guppy head and then added a nice deep arm to it there with that uh, that swivel and that blade. This is sweet because it keeps the blade out of the way of the tail kick here, so it's not going to impede with the tail kick. Uh, helps especially with baits like the whip wad where you have the, the big long tail. Don't really need to worry about it too much with the sleigh bait. It is that real tight, you know, kind of fluttering action back there. But, uh, you know, when you get a little wind, a little chop across the water, and you need that underspin, that little bit of extra flash, and still say finesse, this is the way to go. The Dirty Jigs Tactical Bass and Underspin. Awesome way to rig up the 2.3 inch sleigh bait. So yeah, so there you go. A few ways to rig up the 2.3 inch sleigh bait. It is an amazing finesse swim bait. You all have seen Jacob and I out here crushing it with the 3.3, the 4.3 inch sleigh bait, and now we have the 2.3 to add to the arsenal. Full lineup of the sleigh baits. Make sure to head over to Epic Bait Molds and check them out. Well, and that's going to do it for us today out here on the water. Until next time, y'all, you know who it is, your friend on this end, Michael, out here around these Delta Slews, reminding you to keep on chucking. <laughs> I'll get back with you.